Ikezkel, Ezekiel, Chapter 10 Then I looked, and suddenly on the dome, over the heads of the Caribbean, there appeared above them something like sapphire that seemed to take the form of a throne. He spoke to the man clothed in linen. He said, Go in between the wheels under the Caribbean, fill both your hands with fiery coals from between the Caribbean, and throw them on the city. As I watched, he went. Now the Caribbean were standing to the right of the house when the man entered, and the cloud filled the inner courtyard. The glory of Adonai rose from above the Karuv to the threshold of the house, leaving the house filled with the cloud and the courtyard full of the brilliance of Adonai's glory. The sound of the wings of the Karuvim could be heard even in the outer courtyard, sounding like the voice of God, Shaddai, when he speaks. When he ordered the man clothed in linen to take fire from between the wheels, from between the Karuvim, he went in and stood next to a wheel. And a carib put out his hand from between the carabim into the fire between the carabim, took some of it, and put it in the hands of the one clothed in linen, who took it and went out. Now there appeared among the carabim the form of a man's hand under their wings. I looked and saw four wheels next to the carabim, one wheel next to one carib, and another wheel next to another carib. The wheels had the color of barrel. Their shape was the same for all four, like a wheel inside a wheel. When they moved, they could go in any of the four directions without turning as they moved. Rather, whether, wherever the head looked, they followed without turning as they moved. Their whole bodies, including their backs, hands, and wings, and also the wheels, were full of eyes all around, even the wheels of the four caravim. As for the wheels, I heard them called the wheel apparatus. Every one of the caravim had four faces. The first face was the face of a carav. The second face was the face of a man the third the face of a lion, and the fourth the face of an eagle. Then the caravim rose. These were the living creatures I had seen by the Kavar River. When the caravim moved, the wheels went with them, and when the caravim lifted their wings to rise off the ground, these wheels did not stop going with them. When the caravim stood still, the wheels stood still, and when the former rose, the latter rose with them, because the spirit of the living creatures was in them. Now the glory of Ed and I left the threshold of the house and halted above the caravim. The caravim lifted their wings and rose off the earth. I was watching as they went off with the wheels next to them. They paused at the entrance to the east gate of Adonai's house with the glory of the God of Israel over them from above. This was the living creature I had seen beneath the God of Israel by the Kavar River, so I knew they were a caravim. Each of the four had four faces and each had four wings, and what looked like a man's hands was under their wings. As for how their faces looked, they were the faces I had seen by the Kavar River, identical in appearance. Each one moved straight ahead.